Roblox is a highly played game, with majority of the users being children. Roblox isn't just any old video game platform. On this platform, you can create your own games, and with this, you are bound to see some inappropriate themes, such as sex, violence, and horror. This would not only just be implied with games, this also integrates into video form content on other platforms as well, known as Roblox Roleplay and memes. We all know that not all kids use the YouTube Kids application. YouTube Kids ranges from the ages of 4 to 12. That leaves ages 13 to 18 watching YouTube. I recently had this video sent to me. It's a compilation of memes. On timestamp 923, a message appears, degrading the viewer and leading to a message to commit life-ending activities. Now, the way that this instruction was worded got past YouTube's pre-screening, but YouTube should have caught the audio version though. The creator responded in the comments stating, it's a meme, don't take it too seriously, kids. Now we can agree, some kids will take this seriously due to the past challenges on social media, where self-ending harm was happening. Some viewers are concerned about this part in the video, and they are right. Kids will see this video just because it's Roblox. Going through some more of their videos on their channel, it seems to me that this is just a meme channel for a Roblox game called Doors. The point of this game is to make it to the 100th door without dying. This is the only video I see on this channel that is suggesting this instruction. Now I don't think they meant anything of it by putting this in the video. It was just a meme. They should have known better to put something like this in a video that revolves around a game that kids play. I will continue to keep an eye on this channel along with other channels similar to this type of content. Here's a quick update on this YouTube channel. It has recently been taken off of the platform, but doing some digging to other channels of the same type have shown up as well. Now there are some channels on YouTube that are posting videos sexualizing Roblox. With Roblox content, we can piece together that the target audience would be kids. Looking through these channels, seeing their thumbnails, you can see that they're highly saturated and highly sexualized. The reason why these thumbnails are highly saturated is to bring in clicks. More clicks the video gets, gets a higher click-through rate, pushing your video to more viewers. I checked out this highly saturated, sexualized thumbnail. I expected to see a scene in the video having to do with the thumbnail, but that didn't happen. Two viewers had some thoughts on this content. No hate, but the thumbnail was a bit offensive. Bro, why? I was scrolling on my recommended when found this, and then I found out almost every video has a thumbnail about a person sitting on a bed. You know, reproducing is right. God, there must be a five-year-old on this platform. Here's this next one I found kind of questionable. I took my newborn baby to a Roblox club. The roleplay of this is taking the baby away from a child abused parent and then taking the baby to a club. Here is one that is basically a roleplay movie titled I Love You. It's about a creepy stalker who follows a girl and kidnaps her. The comments are turned off on all these videos. I was hoping it was due to age restrictions, but they're not age restricted. As you can see, these creators know what they are doing. They know what thumbnails to put out there to get attention and get clicks. They know who's going to click on these videos and they know who's going to watch them. There are some role playing channels, videos on here that are actually family wholesome, where it's just all about family. But with this content out there, it gives them a bad name. Now, upon doing some digging on these channels, I found a bigger issue than what I thought I would find with this type of content. As we know, part of Roblox community standards is no content seeking or portraying romantic relationships. That includes explicit activities. In these Roblox role-playing games, there's a term used called otter, where players date each other and do explicit activities or hint at these activities. Now some of these role-playing videos have content catching otters, which is great I think, but the thumbnail could be altered for parents to watch and not target it towards kids. And after they catch them, report them to Roblox so they can get banned and off of the platform. Now some of these role plays can get very intimate, getting into suggestive positions and adult messaging. Players don't know who's on the other end that they are role playing with. This can lead to grooming and extortion, putting the child in a very dangerous environment. When you think about the average age of a gamer being 34 to 36 years old and these role play rooms popping up, where kids are asked, you play the mom, I'll play the dad, you be the doctor, I'll be the nurse, all of those kinds of things are really concerning me. What we're seeing is a lot of kids being um, convinced to go into these little role play games, 
In some cases, they've been asked to remove their roadblocks clothes. They get offered money to perform se sexual acts. Once they remove their clothes, it's almost like a form of in-game assault has happened. And I've spoken to a couple of kids that were really traumatised that we've had to get counselling and things put in place at school for them to deal with the feelings that are happening from this. It's something that should not be happening, absolutely, but it is. And parents, you can take control here. This video you just seen, I'll link the Facebook page down in the description below. Situations like this on these Roblox role-playing games can get out of control. You can see my last Roblox video, how quickly out of control these situations can get. The best thing is to monitor what your child is doing online to keep them safe. And if you're not a parent and you know people that are parents, keep them informed and share this video to them about this type of content that's out there on YouTube and games that they might be playing. If you made this far in the video, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.